Welcome back to another Plasticon review. Today we're going to cover Core Class Soundwave. Here's Core Class Soundwave in his boombox mode. He's pretty neat. I actually don't mind him. I love all the detail this thing has got. It's got quite a bit of detail. It's very shiny too, which is nice. Um, all the gold and the silver really kind of pops. I'm more or less the G2 collector, but I also like the smaller scale um, transformers. I'm not really into the large ones. But it's just kind of how this is. Anyway, he does happen to have a little ejecting mechanism here. Unfortunately, I don't have the tape and I actually don't have his uh, little weapon gun. His gun would just plug in right here on the top. And honestly, even if I had it, there's no other places to store other than right here with these two little holes here on the sides. You can put the little battery bits here kind of it's it is what it is i'm honestly more or less into him just because of his alt mode um but not the alt mode but the robot mode because i actually like what he looks like in robot mode it's very cool anyway speaking of that let's go ahead and transform him he's got a very simple transformation you just flip out the uh, leg just like that and turn his heel and flip out his other leg and then turn this direction and then his other heel just like that and here on the back it's got these here that actually pegged in they just flip forward just like that and then his little hands just flip the little hand out and flip out the little hand just like that and then here trying to get his head out it's kind of a pain sometimes but there you go and then you just spin his head around and there you go he had sound wave in his robot mode and he's pretty smart I actually like him a lot he's a very cool little robot it's a very very neat transformation especially for as small as it is and I'm into this size class I'm very sad to see core class going away it's not one of my favorite things that they're doing um, I just don't get into large transformers anymore. It's like it's small, and that's all I need. I don't need anything huge. Like the biggest thing I have really is, well, if you guys have been following me on Facebook, I would say the largest transformer is a scratch build I did of Grandis. Um, everything else is Metroplex size and lower. Um, I do have Scorponok. I got Trypticon, but those are as big as I go. I don't go any larger than that anymore just because I don't like huge ones. Most of my Transformers are this size. I actually enjoy the smaller stuff, especially like all the combiners, how the combiners all work together. They all are small robots anyway. The metal bot is a little large, but not huge. I can deal with this kind of thing. You know, kind of like Magnus. You know, Magnus can't deal with that. Anyway. His articulation, he's got a little ball joint here, move his arm up and down. It's primarily all ball joints on there, which is cool. Um, I don't mind that. And his head, and twist back and forth. And he's got these little uh, legs go out like this, and like this, and it twists just like that. That's pretty much your articulation. He doesn't have a whole lot of tar articulation, but you know, just enough. Um, I'm not really into huge, highly articulated robots either. Like, it's okay to have him kind of stand here with his hand on his hip. Or, he can be like this, you know, trying to eject laser beak, which is kind of a difficult thing to do with this particular mold. I mean, that's about as good as you're going to get, because this doesn't go down any further. If you push it down any further, the arm just pops out of place. And, kind of, it looks like he's trying to 
Oh, I can't deal with this. That's, 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 that's what it looks like he's doing. <laughs> um, he does have this hip skirt thing here that can move out of the way, which is way... I, I, I don't understand why. I mean, are you really going to have him sitting like this? And it looks like he's holding a TV tray. I don't know about you guys, but it looks like he's got a TV tray. Seriously. Are you guys not seeing this? Because that's what I'm seeing. That or he's playing with a tablet or something. I don't know. It's just funny. That whole hip skirt thing on this is just hilarious. I think it's funny that it all moves at once, but I'm like, you know, I understand Soundwave is supposed to be a tape deck, but this is what I don't get. Why can't we just have him turn into like some Cybertronian computer? It would make more sense, especially in this day and age. Um, I think it'd be cool if he did turn into a small computer, because then you'd be able to use him with um, all the rest of your other little robots. But anyway, size comparison, here he is next to Legends Starscream, G2 Starscream. And here he is next to my plastic Tiamat, which isn't very big, but you know, it's Tiamat. It's plastic dragons and such. Anyhow. That's all I gotta say about little old sound wave here. He's cool. Not a bad little thing. If you find him out there, he's not a bad buy. You can snag him if you can. Anyway. Oops. <laughs> I was telling you about the arms popping off real easy. All I was doing was pausing him. Uh, broken wave. No longer a sound wave. He's a broken wave. Sad day. Yeah, this is what plastic on. This has been yet another Transformers review. I'll catch you guys later. I'm going to play more from your way. That's it for now. Bye!